Of course, when someone as iconic and legendary as Bud Grant passes away, you reach out to the men that knew him the best and actually the men that played for him, that knew a side of him that we've all heard about, but perhaps never had to live. And joining me now is a man who needs no introduction, the legendary Carl Eller. Carl, Eller. <laughs> Carl thank you so much for not only coming here to share your stories tonight, but trudging through the snow, and being here, because you said that you wanted to honor Bud, and I really love that about you. Well, Bud's a very special person. Uh, I'm glad you asked me. I, I think there's a, you need a Bud to grant in your life. Everyone should have a kind of Bud grant in their life because he's a pretty straight guy. You know, everybody says that, and. Uh, and if you want to know where to go, or how to go, or how to do it, ask but he would always give me the street answer for that. And he would stare you down with those steely blue <laughs> eyes, wouldn't he? Yes, he would. Yeah. So, but anyway, he was a man of few words, and uh, his theme of, of mine is like, you can always trust what he would say because he wouldn't change regardless of who you were. If you didn't like it, you just didn't like it, you know. But most of them was really good advice uh, for me in a way. And uh, I'm sorry to see him go. I am as well. And you were super close. We have pictures that you have shared with us, not only from your 80th birthday party, happy birthday, mm -hmm. but Bud's. And also most recently, just a couple of weeks ago, when you were all on a panel together, right? As recent as two weeks, right? Yeah, it was, it was very recent. Uh, but, uh, and we had the chance to talk, you know, and that was, I think, uh, getting to warm up a little or just be more on a level where we get to kind of talk and Bud would say something that would, uh, you know, the current event, something like that. And it was a real pleasure, pleasure to talk with Bud in that manner <laughs> because mm -hmm. I always said for I had such respect for him. It was always like, you know, it was in a, an official position. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in the official position, yeah. defensive end as you were, you only get to be that good sometimes by some man that's pushing you. And the Purple People Eaters, well known. When Bud was your coach, what perhaps was the best story, whether it was he was pushing you or if he was giving you like the soft love that we might not have seen? You know, I really have to think about that. I think that Bud was really consistent, consistent. And, um, you know, I think his consistency was the best thing mm -hmm. because he treated everybody the same. I've had other players tell me that they liked being here because of that, because but really didn't play favorites. Mm -hmm. And we had, and it changed because he, his idea was that you never know when you're going to make the key play or when you have the key play for the game. And we can see that happen from week out to week. Some of the players will be in just for a couple of plays, but they'd make a great catch or a first down and keep the ball alive. And uh, we, after a while, we begin to believe in Bud really greatly. Carl, I've known you a long time, and when you came in today and it was snowing, I'm surprised you weren't trying to wear a polo shirt like Bud did in that legendary <laughs> coin flip. He was tough as nails, huh? Bud was tough as nails. He was tougher than the nails. Uh, and he liked to really do that. And maybe who knows how sincere he was. <laughs> 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 I think he was sincere, but it would be snowing. Uh, and he bring the team up. He would lead the team up, and would not have a shirt on his sleeve or anything. And so, I, I and later on I wondered if he did that to kind of psych the other team or not, or if he was really just being but you know. Is there any piece of advice that he gave you, whether it was football or in life, that has really resonated with you and stuck with you over these years? He did. He gave me a piece of advice, and I think it's like um, it's hard to interpret, but for me, I knew what he meant. He he was kind of like you don't know who your friends are. It was kind of a summed up like that, you know. It's, I was kind of being. Um, always being on guards, kind of speak.
can so, so to speak. And I thought it was that was good because you know we would do TV or we would do radio or newspaper or anything. So it was like don't talk your enemy uh, down, your opponents down. And because you don't know when it'll come back to haunt you, you know. So I got that piece of advice, and it's still good to face. Well, my condolences to you. Not only was Bud your friend, but he was your coach in, yes. in your life for a long time. You know, I adore you. So thank you so much for coming in, uh, and thank you for sharing these beautiful words. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. It's just a great honor to be here, and it's a sad occasion, but thank you very much. Absolutely. Carl Eller, everyone, we will send this back to you, Karen. Just beautiful words on this very difficult day for many here in Minnesota and beyond.